Assalamu alaikum dear Syrian Welcome to Iman's online class Hopefully you are safe and sound at all So after Eid Our class has been started Again So that's why Today we are going to enjoy Our class Our ICD class So um, let me introduce with you I'm Ibrahim Khalil Laiman, Assistant Teacher English, Alishore Gentleman Public School and College. Dear student, today I'm going to discuss your subject ICT for the students of class 6 English version. <clears throat> so today actually we are going to get the review class as we have finished our half yearly syllabus so that's why you are going to enjoy again the review class so that's why today's topic will be lesson one instruments related to ICT computer and definitely that to, that that is from chapter two so the learning outcomes of this lesson after reading this chapter you will be able to Describe how a computer works You'll be able to describe the instruments used in ICT You'll be able to explain the works performed by different instruments used in ICT You'll be able to explain hardware and software So let's come to the our lesson lesson one instruments related to ICT and computer here goes the page 21 the lesson one instruments related to ICD computer the device which is behind of the great change of the entire world that is state started using information communication technologies computer so dear student here is the question what is computer or what uh, I mean how do we call computer so the device which is behind of the great change of the entire world that is started using information and tech communication technology is a computer. So it has been told earlier that when we say the word computer, a picture of TV like monitor, a box of CPO and keyboard comes to our mind. So whenever <clears throat> a word is computer, uh, a word computer is, I mean, told. So definitely in our memory there I mean there comes some scenario the pic I mean picture of a TV like one eater and a box of CPO and keyboard comes to our mind because we all are very much used to see this nowadays we virtual uh, virtualize a picture of laptop like an open book when we say computer but there are many more types of computer those are shown in the pictures there is seen there are six I mean computers the first one supercomputers the earlier I mean the supercomputer had been used much then mini computer after the desktop computer after the laptop then tablet PC then a smartphone we have already told you how the computer can bring a change in the entire world. Instruments are made to perform a particular task. So the question is, why instrument? Why is why are instruments made? So instruments are made to perform particular task. Screwdrivers are used to open screw. Men travel by vehicles. We can neither open a screw by vehicles nor we can travel by screwdrivers but computers are different type of instruments it can perform un unlimited works of different types so in one side computer can perform complex accounting work so the underline the sentence computer can <coughs> perform complex accounting work on the other side it can also be used to draw picture so underline again it can also be used to draw pictures. So what are the activities of computer? Computer can perform complex accounting work. 
computer can use can be used to draw picture or computer can draw a picture so there is nothing to be surprised to hear that the computer is an instrument that can do so many works can bring a change in the entire world surely you all want to know how a computer works many of you may think that the process of a computer works in very complex but that's not uh, all true that means the process of computer is very easy the main process of how a computer works is very easy the picture below shows you the process of how computer works so let 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 us enjoy the picture so here the activities i mean the here the works of a computer so there are two arrows in opposite of each other input and output after that there is a box memory and after that again the two arrows opposite of each other and then again there is another box is processor so what does the what do they mean let's start <clears throat> you can see the picture that it has four parts the first one input output memory and processor Dear yes, student, computer has mainly four parts. Underline and write down the take the note. When you give information and data to computer through input, that means whenever you give the information through the input, these are stored in the memory. So after taking the information through input, then I mean that will be stored in memory of the computer. The processor receives information and data from memory and uses them and stores the result in memory the work being finished the computer returns you information and data through output this is the process of work of all computers of the world so dear student what is the what is the work of computer what is the process of work compu work of computer so that this is the process of work of computer so just underline these sort of sentences those of you who have either seen or used the computer might have understood that the keyboard on the mouse is means of giving input so that means keyboard is a input device we send data to computer by this the computer shows the result in the monitor after finishing the work or gives us a print by printer so that's why monitor is output device and printer and uh, that gives us print so that's why printer is output device therefore these are the process of sending output so that's why these tools are output device we see neither the memory or nor the processor of a computer from outside so these are in installed inside the computer so in the memory and processor these are the uh, these these lies these lie these lie in the computer inside the computer we have talked about keyboard, mouse, monitor, and printer as the input and output of the computer. We must have understood that a computer has many instruments other than these. We shall discuss those in, in instruments in the next lessons. We have told you how a computer works, but we have not told you how the same computer can sometimes be used for the drawing picture, sometimes for listening song, and again sometimes for doing complex accounting works. So here goes another activities of a computer that means drawing picture, listening songs, and doing complex accounting work. Dear children, <clears throat> let's come to the last para. Input, output, and memory, and processor. These four main features that we have just discussed are instruments of this that type. That means in the computer there are four major features, major parts input output memory and processor these parts of computers and instruments are called hardware so what are the hardware that means input output memory and processor these together are called hardware we need to keep some specific data in the memory of a computer if we want computer to do something for us this data goes to the goes to the processor and processor can do many different functions so dear student underline the sentence processor can do many different functions these are called software 
so what are these what are the soft tears underline please so we need to here uh, actually here we we learn I mean what is software what is hardware and what are the main parts of computer how computer works these are the questions for from this lesson so we need to use accounting related software when we want to do some complex accounting works that means whenever we we want to do a I mean accounting work so we need accounting related software when we want to draw a picture we need to use picture related software human intelligence is the most powerful in the world it is more powerful than powerful supercomputer that means human brain is the best computer I mean than the uh, any other computers so we should never compare a human being human brain with a computer so that means human brain is never compared with a computer even then to give the example of hardware and software it can be easily said that a child can do nothing by himself just after birth because his brain is like a hardware without software because his brain is like a hardware without software when the child comes to your age then he can do many things like you so this is, it can be said that now many softwares have been pushed into his hardware and so he can do many works which could, he could not be could not do before so actually the 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 para is related to i mean the the para is the para shows the comparison between human brain and the computer again you are reminded that it will be a, an in, insult to human brain if human brain is compared with computer Human brain is a one and wonderful and interesting thing of the world. So, dear student, I um, mean, there is activity and uh, activity one make a group of four. One will operate input device and other will operate output device. Of the remaining two, one will be memory and the other will be processor. Your teacher will supply two numbers to input device. He will inform that. To the memory processor will collect these two numbers from the memory and then then will send it back to memory after adding these two numbers output device will get it known from memory device and then will return to the teacher so actually we have gone through this lesson and in this in this lesson we have gone through so many important things so those are the important things you just write on your copy or jot down or underline in the book on the book please so let's come to the homework make 20 short questions from chapter 2 lesson 1 as I have given you the I mean hints tips at the time of reading of the lesson so please follow the tips and hints of these questions and write down the question by yourself so if you have any query after this so please write on the comment box there's a comment box write your question write your query and definitely will get the feedback very soon thank you very much for enjoying my class with great patience thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah